we're gonna go ahead and create the edging on the pants legs here. And this is the same um, technique that you're gonna work on for both legs and both arms at the sleeves. This just creates a really nice, neat trim. So it differentiates, you'll see that um, the clear difference between these two, it actually looks like the leg is coming out from underneath the pants even though it is all done in one piece. So I really like this technique and um, it's the same for all of these, um, all four of these sections. So I'm gonna demonstrate it on one area and um, remember to just replicate it for the other parts. What you'll do is first take your lovey, so here's the head of my lovey, and turn your lovey so that it is facing back. Its back is facing you, excuse me. I didn't say that right. All right, and I'm gonna start by turning him upside down here. So he is, this is his bottom, and this is the front. I like to start from the back because that's where your seam is going to be. Here's my seam. And we don't want that to be in the front because it looks a little wonky. So we want the front to have this very beautiful trim that looks seamless and um, pretty. So that's why we start from the back. Once you're in the back, um, you'll see a spot where um, the unworked front loops are. Remember we worked in back loops only in um, certain areas and that's where we change colors and that's where you see this extra front loop sticking out. So we're gonna go ahead and attach yarn in this um, unworked front loop. So here, let me get white yarn. I'm using white yarn for these, for the edging. And you'll wanna have a bit of a tail so that you can weave it in as you crochet. So after you pull through your yarn, you're going to go into the next front loop, like so, unworked front loop, and you're going to make a single crochet. Do the same all the way around, go into the next front loop, and as you can see, I am going to naturally weave in my tail here as I crochet along, so I'm just pulling it over and making a single crochet. And as I work along, you'll see that um, the paint edging is gonna come, um, come out looking nicely pronounced. Going into the front loop here and single crochet, go into the next front loop, single crochet. This is um, a technique that I um, feel like I discovered. Maybe other people do it too, I'm not sure. But um, I love it because it creates such a nice, neat edging and trim to my Amigurumi dolls. It's such a great technique to use where you have um, the um, outfits such as pants or sleeves. And here I'm working all the way around. When you get to the very end, you're simply going to slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet you made. So here I've gone all the way around as you can see, and I'm just going to slip stitch to the first single crochet, like so. And then you're gonna pull out a tail. You're going to snip it off and weave in the ends. I just like to pull through with my hook instead of using a yarn needle because um, it's kind of cumbersome to <laughs> take it out and, you know, um, thread it, th thread this bulky yarn through the needle. You can tell I'm a super lazy crocheter here. And I'm just pulling the yarn end in and hiding it inside my stuffy. All right, so there you have it. That's that for this nice, neat edge that you can do. And I hope this was a clear tutorial. 
I hope you enjoy making this lovely little elephant lovey. I am almost done with him. Just going to put on some finishing details. And all right, take care now. Bye.